Welcome back to a plugin tutorial video. It's been a little bit while since I've done the last one, so I wanted to thank you all for waiting. Today we are checking out this really cool Hollow Broadcast plugin, which works from 1.8 to 1.16.4. It is a premium plugin, but the link will be down in the description if you are interested in it. Um, the author reached out to me, wanted me to do a video on it. I found it really, really cool. It supports Bungie Cord. It's really cool. So we're going to take a look at it. We're going to see what exactly we can do with it. We're going to go over the commands to configure files, all those good things, and then we're going to hop in game and see it actually work. All of the time frames is down in the description or on the screen um, throughout the video So if you're interested in skipping to any part of the video feel free um, So let's get started So on the plugin page what you have is good examples of gifts of exactly what it shows you so you can see it follows you around You can um, add any type of uh, no lag all, all the good stuff about this plugin is it built in some features is you can broadcast to individuals or groups depending on permissions um, Bungie core support you can broadcast across all servers if you want personal player settings you have um, so that could be with an in-game GUI which is really really cool you can send holograms when specific events are triggered animations items particles and sounds which are really cool templates support hex color for newer versions of Minecraft you got an API if you want to implement some of this stuff in your own plugin placeholders with placeholder API or um, the other API uh, placeholder thing from featherboard and all of those good ones um, you can hook into plot squared hook into factions and hook into world guard um, and in incredible performance. So the settings GUI will go over this in-game as well, but you also can see a little bit of a preview there. You can receive holograms and sounds while you're in combat. You can toggle it all on and off. Main command of the uh, plugin is hollow broadcast or HB or slash hollow. Uh, you can do help se uh, settings send to send the player to a message. Uh, duration templates. If you have a template, you can send that as well. Broadcast all broadcast broadcast template clear clear player and reload the configure files in terms of permissions this is where it gets a little bit more complicated because you would want to give these two players um depending on what you want you have the commands to use the help settings if you can send messages if you could broadcast them if you can clear them if you can use uh item placeholders if you can use sound placeholders if you can use particle placeholders stuff like that so one thing i would make sure you do with this is make sure your permissions are set up correctly or if the player is using it who has op you have everything by default but just make sure your permissions are set up correctly so you don't end up having problems with uh not sending the correct um like particles and stuff if your message contains that and you don't have the permission um in terms of the message format um it gives you a bunch of different placeholders built into the plugin which is very impressive uh you can do nl for new line bl for a blank line you can do the item and material names item and material ids i love how you've included the id here a lot of people use still ids for some reason um, but I am glad you left it in there. Uh, you got sounds for your different Minecraft versions. You got the animation name. You got the template names. Hex color. Very nice job on that. Uh, you have a bunch of uh, settings files. And it goes over how you can actually create animations in the plugin. So uh, you can add these to your animation rates and refresh rates in the animations.yml. We'll go over that a little bit. Um, you can also use World Guard. I'm not going to be using that in this video, but obviously you can add uh, World Guard for your regions, and you can have a hologram appear when you enter a region, which is pretty cool. They got feature IDs, they got support as well, and they got a test uh, server at mc.testplugin.test.slash plugins. It's on the screen, you can just go there. Um, and they have a Discord for support, which is really, really cool. Um, so let's check it out. Let's download it. I've never actually downloaded the plugin or tried it myself, so this is going to be my first time as well. So we're just going to go ahead and download and keep the file, and we're just going to drag it into our plugins folder. I will be running a 1.8 server, so I won't be using hex colors or anything like that, but I will be just checking out um, your normal thing. So on first load, just like every other plugin, it's going to go ahead and start up, and you can see, hey, it started up, and it's made us a configure um, into a... Uh, settings folder thing folder config folder that's the word um so if we hop into the settings.yml first of all you can see it has this really really cool like whole thing this is actually really cool i like how you've done that only thing i don't like is how i have to move left and right to see the whole thing maybe make it a little smaller if um the authors is watching this you got the duration of how long you want the holograms to stay up should it lock your y axis when you're spawning the holograms uh combating time should you be combat tagged should it not display when you have that hooks do you want to hook into factions world guard land all that good stuff should you have a join message enabled when you join how long should it show what type of thing should it do should it as a diamond sword welcome to the animation rainbow color so that's in the animation.yml Welcome message, should it be sent? Disabled worlds, auto announcer, should it be auto announcing as well? How often? Every 260 seconds. How much should it repeat? 2400. Very easy in the settings.yml. In the animations.yml, this is how you set up animations. It pretty much is 
hey, rainbow color, refresh rate, list. So you can see they've given you a lot of different examples in here on exactly what these can do and what you can do with it. So you can refresh through this list. So first it starts with W, then it goes WE, then it goes WEL. And you can go through that list, changing the color every time if you want, um, setting that up, and then you just do animations, the name. So in this case, it's welcome, and we'll go in and see that in a moment. Very easy to set up. You can just copy this and literally just make a new one down here. Make sure you've tabbed in correctly. Um, and then you just paste in this and you can see you can change the name. So if we wanted this to be test Merry Christmas, then you could just change this and then you can change this to test. And then if you wanted to, you could call this from another class. So you can pretty much add as many as you want here quite easily, which is really, really cool. I do like how you've set that up and how everybody can have as many as they want. The messages.yml of the plugin pretty much is just all the messages on the plugin, all configurable. You can set this all up and you can configure all of the items inside of your GUI as well for your settings GUI. So that's really cool. You got the player's data. Don't, um, don't edit this. Just leave it. You don't have to worry about it. And then you got the templates.yml. These are your default templates, the templates test and the message template. You can make these if you want. So it's a little bit easier for your uh, staff to send broadcasts and stuff. Not required. I would recommend customizing it for your server though. Um, so that's just up to you. Now we're going to hop in game. We're going to take a look at it and see what we can see. All right. So now that we have launched Minecraft, we're going to hop in the server and check it out. So there we go. It says, welcome to my awesome server. Nice to see you again. Don't forget to check our website, coolsite.web and it's Merry Xmas. Um, so this follows you around. It just disappears and it makes a sound when it disappears. I know you can't hear the sound because I don't have Minecraft sounds on the recording, but it does make a sound when it disappears. Let's talk about the command of the uh, plugin. We're going to do hollow broadcast if I can type correctly and you can see, please use hollow broadcast help if you need help. If you type it, it will send you all the commands, which is really, really cool. Um, we're going to do hollow broadcast settings first and take a look at the settings UI. Um, the settings UI allows you to receive holograms as the HUD, which is that main thing up there. What should be the view distance of it? Should you receive auto announce messages? Should you receive message sounds? Should you disable when you uh, are in combat? And then it changes depending on what you want. Should you use particles in holograms? Yes or no, depending on the player. So this would be something you would want to give to your players or if you want uh, ranks to be able to turn off these auto announce holograms and stuff, you can obviously set that up as well. It's completely up to you. Let's talk about sending a message. So we can do hollow broadcast and then send the player username. So my username is NoodlesYT in the message. So I'm just going to say test. And you can see it spawned right in front of me in front of the creeper where it says test, which is really cool. And then once it actually moves and in the settings.yml, if you can set the duration, if you want, it will go away. Very, very cool. What if you can use color codes? Well, of course you can use color codes. If I do that, it just sends in color code test. Very cool. Really like how you've done that. Um, and obviously you can do this with the animations, which you set up in the animations, uh, .yml. You can set up pretty much anything you want with all of this, which is one of the most configurable hologram plugins I've ever seen, especially with the moving around with players. And there's the auto announce, perfect timing. You can see it popped up in chat and it's the auto announce and it sends right in front of you, which is amazing. And obviously that wouldn't appear if we toggled that auto announce in chat as well. Um, you can obviously do, uh, HB clear the player's username if they had an active hologram and it would automatically clear it. Um, you can also broadcast the templates if you want with broadcast templates, or you can literally just do HB broadcast and then, um, you can either do like a message or you can do anything at that. If you have Bungie cord set up, just do broadcast and then the message and it would send to every broadcast on every single one of your Bungie Cord servers, which is really, really cool. I love how you have Bungie Cord support. So this is something you can use just overall on your server whenever you want, or if you wanna do auto announce with it, very cool. Thank you to the author for reaching out to me about this. Um, I hopefully I covered everything that I um, needed to. Thank you for all the support everyone has given us on these videos. Very much appreciated. I'm going to starve to death here. I'll see you all in the next video in two days. Thank you so much for hanging out with us.